Kicking ain't easy, and uh, the kicking game for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings has been an issue going back in time and memoriam, and last year was no different where Greg Joseph, he had some highs, he had some lows, he was highly variant, and it sort of is what it is. Yeah, he had that 6 win yarder against the Giants, and also a handful of game winners, was dynamite in those situations, but also he missed six, six. Sace, PATs, as well as seven field goals, 13 missed kicks is by far uh, the most in the National Football League last year because uh, usually if you miss that many, you get cut. <laughs> That's what happens, man. But the Vikings rode out with Joseph. Uh, now he is a free agent again. But, I mean, the question is, should the Vikings run it back with Greg, the, the no leg? third leg Greg sometimes, or should they go fish, whether in the draft or potentially free agency? Enter one Matt Gay, the pride of University of Utah. He recently is going to be hitting the market as the Los Angeles Rams decide not to put the franchise tag on him. And Mike, Garofalo, Mike Garofalo, uh the Rams are not using the franchise or transition tag on Matt Gay, source says. One of the most accurate kickers in the league the last few years, 60-64 in field goal attempts the last two. Uh, the 2021 Pro Bowl selection is expected to have significant interest as a free agent. Yes, because even though you know, kicking is kicking is kicking. Um, it, it's really bad when you have inconsistency there. And it can always creep up at the wrong time, whether it's a missed extra point, whether it's a missed field goal. And that's what Joseph was last season. I mean, it really is a miracle that Joseph ultimately didn't cost the Vikings a game because he certainly could and should have. But uh, the Vikings need to be all in on Matt Gay and landing one of the best kickers in the league uh, in free agency as they look to free up some cap space. It, it does make a ton of sense, man. Uh, and Matt Gay is a 2019 fifth round pick out of Utah. He was uh, 28 years young, 2021 pro bowler, which is hard to do by the way, because there's only one from each conference. It's crazy. Uh, but field goals last season, he was 28 of 30, 93.3%. His only misses uh, were from 50 plus a 90.0 PFF grade fourth in the league. Uh, for comparison, Greg Joseph put up a 61.6, which was 29th amongst qualifying uh, kickers, which ain't good. Uh, uh, Matt Gay also had a long of 58, uh, only missed two point afters in three seasons, which would be kind of nice. Hmm? Just having a guy that you know is going to be almost automatic from uh, the extra point spot, 95 out of 97. Contract-wise, SpotRack estimates his market value at $5.1 million per year. Uh, their estimates is four years, $20.5 million. Now, it sounds like a lot. But for comparison, uh, the Vikings uh, paid Greg Joseph $2.433 million uh, last season. So would you pay a, a little extra more uh, just to have some more consistency? And you don't want to say just being automatic from the kicker position because obviously for the Vikings in our history, uh, that is not necessarily the case. But upgrading to a guy who, you know, as, as Justin Tucker is getting up there in age, like you can honestly make a good case that Matt Gay is a you know, top three, top two kicker in the league. And maybe he's not three, maybe he's not two. So securing that position, even though, yes, you, you are paying a little bit more and the Vikings are snug up against the cap, but just completely taking that off the plate of worry to a degree uh, does make some sense. So I think the, the Vikings uh, certainly uh, certainly should and could be uh, in the Matt Gay business and should make a push for him in free agency. But your thoughts are thoughts. Vikings need to sign uh, recent free agent kicker Matt Gay. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.